Thailand come to this T20 World Cup as a little bit of a mystery package, particularly for a lot of the teams they'll be up against. Laura, you never played against Thailand, so it feels a little bit unfair asking for too much in-depth insight into it. But what can you expect from a team that has spent the large amount of time playing its cricket in Bangkok and the subcontinent and doesn't have a great deal of experience against playing elite level cricketers? Yeah, I think, you know, for, for them, it's a fantastic achievement to have uh, qualified for this World Cup and, um, you know, to, to get this far for them is, is fantastic in itself. So I think they'll be, um, you know, they'll be, they'll be confident in themselves that they can put in some good performances. Um, but I think it's, you know, it's, it's certainly going to be a tough ask. They, you know, they've never as a team played out in Australia before against um, some of the best teams in the world. So um, I think it's going to be a tall order. We should say that they, some of the players have played in bits and pieces in Australia with part of the, the ICC emerging players squad and obviously they played up in Europe uh, in the qualifier so there is some experience of playing outside of South Asia they do have some of the leading wicket takers in 2019 in Nataya, Bruchadam and Sully, Porn, Laumi that must bring something to the party. It's going to present a difficult prospect for players who don't know how to play against or haven't played against them before. Yeah, definitely. I think you know they'll, they'll be looking to those players who've been perform key performers for them in the last sort of um, few months or, or, or couple of years um, to sort of help them guide them through some of those games. And um, certainly for the opposition, it's 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 hard sometimes when you're you know planning to play a game and you can sort of sit and you do your team meeting and you can identify different players and that you're playing against and try and form some tactics but um, you know the, a lot of these girls will never have played against um, some of the players from Thailand before so th that could prove a challenge. But this is what these tournaments are about isn't it a celebration of global cricket and this is a true true celebration of global cricket an emerging nation getting into a major final it's a great story. Absolutely it's fantastic I think I remember the you know the day they qualified and it was watching the videos and them sort of running onto the pitch to celebrate and um, you know, every, you know, team, some teams start in a different position to others, and you know, have less funding and all the, the rest of it. So, um, from from their point of view, it's fantastic um, to see you know them really sort of emerging and, and growing at the global level.